Hey there Capricorn! Welcome to Helen Guys Tarot. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And it's going to be from November 15th to the 21st. So let's see what's happening for Cappies. Okay, so it looks like there's going to be some even give and take. Someone's balancing something out now. Someone has been looking really deep soul search. I think they've been thinking about what happened in the past and feeling sort of stuck in their head here. I don't think they gave to the situation. I think they, they held back. And now they're reflecting on that and saying, what did I do? Why did I, I treat my Capricorn like that? That's not right. It really feels like soul searching here. Okay, let's see what else we have. What else is going on here? Okay, so we have a King of Wands, a Page of Wands, and the Hangman. Pisces energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, of course, with the Page of Wands, too. There is going to be communication. This person has a lot of passion for you. This also could be for someone, a boss, or someone that may work for this person, but, you know, there was a connection here. And um, now they're seeing things differently. Yeah, that's why I was feeling here, that this person's seeing things in a whole new light. They got a whole new perspective. They're seeing things how you see things. They weren't seeing things before like that. They didn't understand before. Now they're going to have to try to get some to contact you. Whether it's going to be an email, a letter, a phone call, a text. But they are going to contact you. I think for some they're going to try to contact you through mutual friends or family or, or something like that. But they have a lot of passion for you. And they're going to contact you. So let's see. Two of Cups. Look at that. Trying to figure things out. Yeah, they're they're afraid once they offer you their cup, you're you're not gonna accept it because they did not treat you right. What the heck? Two of Cups soulmate connections. They're seeing that now. They want to balance things out with you guys. Decisions. They have to make a decision. There's two cups uh, two twos and twos. Decision time. And we have whoop, yep, they want a commitment. And they're not sure about how to do this. Things are, oh, you are their nine of cups. They have a lot of emotions, hidden emotions. They, they didn't express their emotions, too. I think they held back. But they wanted this commitment to go farther than it did. And But they never expressed it. They have a lot of hopes and dreams, and but they never expressed it. You are their nine of cups. The bond, yeah, they want to put the work in. They're thinking about whether or not they should put the work in. Now, I think they decided, or that's maybe they go back and forth. They're afraid they get rejected. So, and they may be still on the fence, but it feels like they're more moving to putting the work in. Okay, let's see. Let's clarify. We have the Nine of Junk. So, that's the Nine of Pentacles. They see you as doing very well on your own, very successful, and, and single. Maybe that's why they come back in, because now they realize you are single. Maybe before you weren't. Okay, what about <coughs> the hermit here? Why do we have the hermit? <coughs> I'm sorry, someone really wants to talk. My, foot, my throat is getting real scratchy. And we have the moon, yes. There is hidden things, hidden emotions. And you know what? They had to really dig deep to figure out why they did that. I think for some, they might even want professional help to try to figure out why they did what they did. <clears throat> A lot of emotions here. Pisces energy. And we have the Hierophant. Yes, a commitment. They are so torn. They don't know what to do, how to do it, when to do it, if they can do it, but they want a commitment. Taurus energy. I think I said that. Okay. And we have the Hermit, which is Virgo energy. Again, going, doing a lot of soul searching, going deep. And you know what? I, I also feel that this person went and what did help them. Sometimes we go through this um, breakups and, and situations because it, it helps us bring out our emotions in other ways. I think this person went deep and they got very creative. Now, this is not going to be for everyone, but 
because of the hurt, because of the loss of you, I think it made them go within and pull out their passion, their desire. And instead of, since they couldn't give it to you, they put it in their work. Okay, what about this page of wands? And we have here the six of feathers. Yes, they're coming. That's movement. They're coming towards you. They're thinking how to do this, but they're going to come towards you. This is a message going towards you. A message being sent to you, maybe. It might be going by boat. <laughs> I don't know, because this is usually the six of um, swords, so it's a boat. <laughs> basically. So they might be sent it by the slow boat to China. <laughs> but, I don't know, do we have the... um? I was looking for the Knight of Pentacles. He might show up yet. <laughs> but yeah, they're going to send you a message and they want to communicate. And so this is moving away from something rough to something much better. And that's what they think of as you. Okay, what about Pisces energy? The hangman here. I don't know why I said Pisces, but we have fate. So this is like the wheel of fortune fate they feel they're seeing this and they're looking at a whole different perspective here and they're seeing this as divine time well, i'm losing my light here let's see if i could do this without sorry oh sorry about get that's gotta click in a little bit sorry about being so dark but you know i thought i could get through the reading and the natural sunlight but it gets dark earlier now, so. All right. So, now we can see. I almost tempted to do this over, but I don't, I, I can't do this reading over. I think it, someone's meant to hear it, so I'm sorry about not putting the light on earlier. I thought, I didn't realize it's going to get that dark. <laughs> okay, so divine time and faith. Age of Feathers. Yes, they are watching you. They want this connection. If they see you with someone else, it's going to drive them crazy. Because this could also be that they're seeing you with another person here. They're spying on you. They're trying to see what you're up to. And they want to know if you're with someone. They, and right now, they're figuring you're single. But who knows? I don't know. They, they probably don't know. If you are or they are. But they're trying to find out. What about the two of pentacles? Five of feathers. Okay. This this bothers me. There's something here that's I I think maybe they're just reflecting how to balance out what they did on the in the past because they did something wrong here and they want to straighten it out. They don't know how. Okay. That's why they're not sure if you're going to take this cup here. But let's see what we get for her. Okay, so seven of wands. Competition. That's why I think they're worried about the competition. They just, um, they figure there's a lot, probably a lot of people that are interested in you. So they're figuring you might have a better choice than them. Especially if they hurt you in the past or did something wrong. Okay, what about the four of wands? We have three of pots. Yeah, they, they, they're they looking to celebrate with you. They they fear you guys can get together and have a really good time. That they're going to treat you really well. And there's going to be a celebration. But this moon card creeps in here. Let's see. Let's see. You know, so we have Pisces here very strong. We've got the moon twice and we have... Um, the hangman. Queen of Pots. Okay, they, yeah, they have a lot of love for you. And they see you as very loving, nurturing, and very intuitive. Okay, let's clarify this. Nine of Cups. Ace of Pots. Yeah, they have... Their cup is overflowing with love. This is the um, Ace of um, Cups here. The Ace of Pots. A lot of love for you. Six of Pots. 
Yeah, they see this as a past life connection, a real, they have a lot of fond memories of you. They think of you all the time. They think, I, I'm feeling like a, this person is, I'm seeing someone with their hand, uh, their head in their hands, just thinking of you, thinking of you, and what can I do? How do I fix this? I miss my Capricorn. Yeah, they miss you. Okay, let's see. What else we have here? I gotta add some more cards to this, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Two of Cups again. Yeah, a lot of love. Soulmate connection. They feel this deep. And that's again, decision. Twos are always decision choices. <sighs> Struggling with themselves. Mentally conflicted. This person is really having a hard time. Some of you are saying, good. <laughs> and seven of wands. See, putting you above the rest. Seeing you as the one. In the in there, that's the only one they could think of. Look at this, just around this person. That's the only thing they're focused on. And you're doing your own thing. You're doing well. <clears throat> Six of wands. <clears throat> you might be in the spotlight, or or this or this is represented. They want to be okay. They want to put the work in. Yeah, I think you're doing really well at work. And I think also they want to put the work in. They want to be triumphant with you. They want to win at all costs. They, oh, wow. Yes, commitment. Look at this. They want a serious commitment. This one wants to get married. Four of Wands again. Okay. Lovers, Gemini Energy, Queen of Pentacles. Very near. Oh, offer there. There's an offer coming in. Also, could be offer a business. I do see business coming in here and see this person too. So, a new beginning in business. Or also, this offer coming in. This Queen of Pentacles is doing quite well. I think that's your energy <clears throat> doing well. And they see you as doing well and not needing them. And <clears throat> but also, they see you as very nurturing, caring, and giving. <clears throat> And they want to talk because my voice is really bad now. Seven of Cups, they know you have choices. There's something shocking going to happen. And they might surprise you. They may come in out of the blue. Because you got the Tower card here. And we do. But they are so stuck in their head. They don't know how to do this. And I think they also have other people interfering in their business. And telling them things that probably are not what they should be telling them. And probably... um messing with their head i think i almost feel like they're they know they're vulnerable they know they care a lot about you and these other people are just playing games and and <clears throat> not good for them so dear this person's going to show up out of nowhere maybe knight of cups um pisces cancer scorpio they know you have options but they're going to appear all of a sudden guess what here they are but they do have deep feelings for you they want this long-term commitment. They want to get married. I think when they get the opportunity, I don't think they want to scare you off. But they're, you know, here they're so stuck. The Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords, still stuck here. They got to, um, this is really very painful. There's a way out. They're, they just got to come to you. <laughs> talk to you. Get it over with. <laughs> Cancer. Cancer. Virgo. Cancer. You know, I can't believe it. I got three of the signs of each sign in here. You got every single Cancer. So very strong Cancer energy. Leo and Aries. Okay, those are the signs you could be dealing with. I hope you guys like this reading. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much.